For the fifth straight month, the U.S. economy lost jobs, 324,000 so far this year. A meltdown in the mortgage industry. This is the biggest point drop that has, that has ever been seen in a day. The worst financial collapse since the Great Depression. This is cataclysmic. American workers were laid off in numbers not seen in over three decades. Whoever wins in November is going to come into office in January facing a deep recession, facing trillions of new liabilities. This is a once-in-a-half century, probably once-in-a-century type of event. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. But know this, America, they will be met. On the day Barack Obama took office, America had already lost 4.4 million jobs. An economic disaster, the worst in a generation. Some said America's best days were behind us. But like America, he dug deep, fought back, and never lost faith in our ability to meet the challenge. The president's stimulus plan saved up to 4.2 million jobs, including teachers, construction workers, police, and firefighters working to build a stronger America. And when a flagship of the American economy was going down, his auto rescue forced companies and workers to retool and restructure, saving 1.1 million jobs. Today, for the first time since 2004, all three U.S. automakers are operating at a profit. Don't bet against the American worker. And now, instead of losing jobs, we're gaining them. The first increase in manufacturing jobs in a decade. And over the last 25 months, 4.1 million new private sector jobs. And while there's still more to do, there's been real progress. Because President Obama never stopped believing in us and fighting for us. He took on the credit card companies, stopping unfair fees and hidden penalties. Took on the Wall Street banks, too, fighting for tough new reforms to make sure they never again wreck our economy. He passed historic health reform, and now insurance companies can't deny children coverage for pre-existing conditions. Seniors pay less for prescriptions. Contraception coverage guaranteed. And by 2016, 32 million more Americans will finally have health coverage. Wind and solar power has doubled, but that's not all. Middle-class taxes at historic lows. College loans, more affordable and easier to repay. Equal pay for women, protected by an historic new law. Don't ask, don't tell, history. Hard work, determination, real results. But instead of working together to lift America up, Republicans were waging a campaign to tear the president down. Virtually every Republican has decided to just say no to anything the president proposes. Put me uh, in the no column. Vote no. Vote no. Republicans are getting a rap as the party of no. Yesterday in the end, not a single Republican voted for the bill, and apparently the relative merits of the legislation had little to do with it. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. And still, he persevered, here at home and as commander-in-chief. Over the last two years, you've seen a depletion of the senior bench for al-Qaeda. Anwar al has been killed. Another huge victory in the war on terror. And then there was the victory no one saw coming. This is an NBC News special report. This is CNN Breaking News. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. Go, 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 go! And a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. This uh, is truly one of those moments people will remember where they were when they heard Osama bin Laden was dead. And now, the war in Iraq is over. For nearly nine years, our nation has been at war in Iraq. So as your Commander-in-Chief, and on behalf of a grateful nation, I'm proud to finally say these two words, welcome home. A promise kept by a president who understands America's promise 
who understands America's greatness comes from a strong, secure middle class. That's the America President Obama believes in. And that's what he's fighting for every day. break moment for the middle class and for all those who are fighting to get into the middle class because what's at stake is whether this will be a country where working people can earn enough to raise a family build a modest savings own a home secure their retirement i believe that this country succeeds when everyone gets a fair shot when everyone does their fair share when everyone plays by the same rules I believe America is on the way up. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.